Hey everyone, uh, Hirushan here and uh, on this video I'm going to talk about a very specific product that I uh, uh, purchased uh, about a week ago I think. Oh yeah, about a week ago. Um, it's called uh, Fluid Shots by Performance Samples and uh, yeah, I bought it about a week ago but uh, I was unable to kind of uh, use it for a while. So uh, day before yesterday I downloaded it and um, played around with it for a while just to kind of uh, get a feel as to how this library works and how it sounds and stuff like that and I managed to do a small track as well so that I could show you guys how it uh, you know uh, how it works in context on a, a context of a orchestral piece uh, but uh, I'm just showing off just a string section here uh, with a bit of additional stuff so uh, main uh, focus will be on the on the strings because uh, as the name implies it's fluid short so it's a uh, it's uh, focused on the uh, on the short articulation which is staccatos and spiccatos but it doesn't differentiate like that in the library but just says shorts uh, so it's from performance samples uh, I will leave a link in the description to their website as well you can check check their other products as well um, which is quite interesting um, as you'll see when I show you this little track it's uh, not a long track just about half and a half minutes uh, and uh, yeah we'll talk further about it and uh, I'll give you my opinion as to what I think about this library um, it's it's not like an in-depth in -depth, uh, review or anything it's just you know I just wanted to give my opinion about it and probably help you guys uh, you know uh, make a decision whether you guys wanted to buy this and you know uh, help uh, with your uh, composing stuff so yeah so we'll look at the track first and then uh, we'll get back to a little chat on it is the track and uh, it does sound amazing guys uh, as you can see uh, or as you can hear rather um, anyway so yeah let's uh, let's talk about this library a bit um, so as I uh, mentioned earlier it's focused on the short articulation uh, so if you're looking for legato uh, sustains and mercados and all that uh, other articulations and stuff like that Sorry, you're not gonna get it because this library is focused on one thing and it does it really well. Uh, I I think the guys at uh, uh, Performance Samples, uh, the Performance Samples is uh, a fairly new company um, which is uh, owned by uh, Jasper Blanc. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of him, um, you definitely should check his work. Um, yeah, you can just type his name on YouTube and you'll get some uh, 
you know s- some of his stuff out there like he's worked on trailers and all sorts of stuff um so now he has a perf- uh, c- sample library company that he uh, recently started off uh and uh, they've they've come up with a few libraries uh this is one of them uh and then there are a few libraries which are free and uh, the main library which is the choir library which is again amazing you guys should definitely check it out unfortunately i have not had the uh, funds to uh, kind of purchase that yet but uh, eventually towards the end of the year or probably in a few months time i'll 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 actually be getting it cuz uh, i just love how it sounds uh but apart from that um in this piece you would have noticed that there's like a really nice uh, solo violin part going on uh solo um s- solo violin thing yeah so um um yeah so basically that is also one of uh, performance samples uh performance samples uh libraries which is interestingly it's free uh so it's it's worth getting guys like you don't have to pay anything and uh it's free like Jasper Blank has been uh, very kind enough to <laughs> kind of give us something like this for free and it sounds amazing like i can imagine these guys working on a on a fully fledged uh, solo violin library if that's the case then it'll be amazing but um it's 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 just a basic library like you don't have any articulation stuff and legatos and all that fancy jazz just like uh, fluid shots it's very basic uh, and it's free as well so you <laughs> can't really complain about it um so anyway so i just thought of just throwing that in as well you know i might as well it's a performance sample uh, library right so yeah anyway so in terms of the uh strings fluid shots um there's very very little uh processing going on at the moment cuz uh um uh, i actually didn't do much apart from a bit of uh, eq um uh, this is on the basis i just added a bit of uh high frequencies and then cut off a bit of the low unwanted stuff uh which i kind of gave prominence to some of the l- there's like a low piano thing going on and stuff like that so i gave prominence to those in that case um apart from that yeah so everything else has a low cut um cuz honestly like violins and stuff you don't need a low low you don't need the low frequencies it doesn't make sense to have those it's just g- going to build up and just uh, muddy up your mix um but apart from that like these guys go into this entire section goes into a bus where again i did a bit of uh, extra processing um uh, uh just added a bit of uh, tape saturation uh bit of eq just a bit of high uh, frequency uh additional eq fr- uh, addition to what i what i had what i had done uh, sorry guys i'm stammering like a uh, i don't know i'm i'm really sleepy like it's 5:15 14 or whatever in the morning so <laughs> like this is the third time i'm trying to do this video cuz Uh, there was something wrong with my software audio software it was just it just kept kept crashing and uh, uh i just wanted to get this done today itself so i st- <laughs> stayed up till like really late to do this ah uh, anyway <laughs> so basically um uh, that's about it but uh, also uh, you would have noticed there's no reverb anywhere i haven't sorry uh this one yeah there is no reverb it's all baked in reverb on the samples itself uh which is which is nice like for an ar- arrangement like this it works perfectly like um uh, as you heard it it sounds amazing at least for me it sounds amazing uh and uh, i can tell you something which is quite interesting about the library this is how it looks very minimal minimalistic uh, approach like you don't have all this fancy buttons and knobs and fancy lights going here and there uh all their libraries look like this uh you get the logo on the side uh which i think is really cool performance samples not for purists um 
it's a pretty dope uh, logo. Uh, and yeah, on the uh, on this basically in this uh, library, you get uh, just the close and the deca and wide mic positions, uh, which is m more or less for mixing purposes. It's like uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it actually. Like you can't really get too technical with it anyway, uh, which is something that I don't want to get into. Uh, also, sir, because um, I just wanted to keep it very simple and just give my opinion about the library and tell you guys like whether you would uh, benefit out of it basically so and I can safely say it does um, uh, like apart from all of this what I'm explaining I, I think you guys need to buy this because uh, uh, it definitely can help with your uh, samples uh, or rather your arrangements because uh, it has that very um, nice uh, like I, I wouldn't say processed but uh, to a certain extent yes but also it has a very raw kind of feel to it and I guess that's why these guys call themselves performance samples because these were derived from actual performances rather than just sampling them uh, uh, note by note so uh, so I, I, I really uh, uh, like the approach that they're taking with their sample libraries and the sound that they're getting out of it. It's amazing. So I'm really looking forward to what they can, what they're going to come up with in the future as well. So anyway, so like I said, very minimal, uh, nothing much. Uh, library basically has just the four sections. Uh, and then each section has three patches, which contains uh, normal, tight and ultra tight. That is to uh, that is basically the delay sample delay. So in this case, I've used all the ultra tight ones, which has a thirty second, thirty millisecond delay. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I I'm not quite sure as to what purpose this serves to have uh, different delays like this. I I'm, I'm not quite sure, but eh, who cares? Like it, <laughs> uh, it sounds good. So you if it sounds good and you know you want to like make stuff with it just go ahead don't worry about the technicality of stuff um, anyway so apart from that you also get this thing called CC1 ambience which is in brackets so each patch has it uh, basically this thing was introduced in the new update um, so basically if you guys are downloading it now you'll get it with the update itself you don't have to download the update separately uh, which is cool um, so when I downloaded it, downloaded it, um, it came with the update because I, even though I paid it for like about a week before I did the download like a few days back. So that was pretty cool. Um, so basically what that actually does is now, uh, if I, hold on, um, yeah. So if I play this, can you hear, oh, sorry, why is this? up here okay do you hear the room ambience in it so basically the modulation wheel or CC1 uh, in this case acts as a switch to switch on and switch off the ambience uh, which is really nice I like that uh, uh, little addition that they've done which uh, increases the flexibility of the library even more and uh, so if you increase this then it becomes very tight you don't you hardly hear any room room ambience in it and it's uh, very up and up close and up front um, which is which is nice and depends on certain um, arrangements that you have you might want to layer this with something else which also I think is amazing uh, given the fact that it has that flexibility and the library like I said it sounds raw and uh, even though it has a nice ambience and stuff like that, still you can play around with all this stuff, and uh, it's perfect for layering and it and can definitely stand on its own. Like you, you just heard it. Like on this track, it's just basically ninety percent of the track is just carried out by these guys here, and uh, rest of it is just addition. Like this is just for the melody. The violin is just for the melody, and some piano parts and some transition effects like small ones here and there just to spice up the track that's about it but everything else is just fluid shots and uh, yeah so in that case this library is just uh, 
I I can just say that it's amazing like for the price that you pay which is like $49 uh at the time that I bought it but uh, probably by the time you kind of see this video it might uh be at $79 I think yeah cuz um, their promotional price is ending on the 24th and today is the 23rd yeah so unfortunately for some of you guys who are a little late for the party uh might have to get it at $79 still i think it's worth um cuz uh, you can get a lot of stuff out of this library even though it's very minimalistic and very simple um so yeah that's 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 practical what i wanted to talk about this about this library and uh, the fact that they've done an amazing job uh and and i'm i'm super thrilled to see what what are the libraries that they come up with in the future uh given the fact that even their free stuff sounds amazing so you can you can imagine how good their stuff will be when it comes to a fully fledged library i i'm i'm guessing like their approach won't be like you know okay here's a library where you have the orchestra the entire orchestra in it like i don't think that's the philosophy that they have they what they do is they focus on a certain uh section uh of a orchestra or a certain articulation like in this case uh and surprisingly like not surprisingly but they do it they pull it off really really well and i love the sound of this uh string so for me I, i would layer this with the stuff that i have and then probably even use them as it is with the uh, with whatever arrangement that i have and you know probably these guys could just uh run the show on their own <laughs> to be honest um so yeah actually i'm i'm really happy with uh the sound that i'm getting with it and uh i'm sure this has you know helped you guys in some way to kind of understand how how this library is uh, like how it sounds and how it really works like i don't like i said i i don't want to get too technical with it anyway because not that even if i wanted to i can't because it's very 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 simple uh uh very short and sweet kind of <laughs> library which there's quite a lot uh in terms of uh, its uh sonic uh, capabilities so uh it's pretty interesting so i hope i hope you guys found something interesting about it and uh hopefully uh i've you know helped you guys uh make a decision if if you guys were like you know kind of like on the fence of whether you want to get it or not i would recommend it i would i would tell you guys to just go and buy it um it's not that expensive and it's it's worth having this cuz uh, i'm sure f- in the future once these guys start bringing up the other libraries the this will easily complement like it's it's like um for example like uh, if you take a company like um Mm, spitfire like the, all their spitfire libraries will work together really well cuz they're all recorded in the same way probably in the same hall like i think they do it at uh, air studios so uh, it's easy to mix in stuff uh in their case that will also be the case but uh but i think the way they are making their libraries it's uh it's easy to kind of blend these guys in with everything else as well So I like that and I like the like I said I like the whole fact that this library sounds very raw and uh, it has that like like the name implies very performance uh performance oriented so uh so it's nice so I I hope I hope this uh, was interesting enough and uh, hopefully uh you know you guys can uh, get this as well and then play around with it and you know come up with some good music So uh yeah that's about it from me um hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video I'm not quite sure what what I'm going to do next probably it could be a tutorial or maybe I'll just uh I just have some stuff that I'm working on which I would like to upload as well so if you guys are interested you can always subscribe to this channel and uh you know uh, if if you have any questions about anything just uh leave a comment uh you know ask me anything i'll i'll try to reply as soon as i can and uh, you know uh, it's uh, all about sharing and caring right so <laughs> uh, so don't be shy to ask anything um, i'll try my best to answer and uh, you know help you guys out as well so 
that's about it and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll uh, see you guys in the next video thanks